so here we can see we've started the uh, snap-in floor. Uh, we have basically got about maybe one quarter of it done. Um, when we come to the bedrooms, we didn't want a threshold, so what we did was we continue to go through. We have some wood over it so we don't crack it, but we're going to lock this together. Starting point, just to keep it nice and straight, we wanted to start right here from the edge, so we screwed a board in to the front here, and then as you lock them together, you need to bang um, into the board, so that's keeping all the pressure, keeping it together. Now because it's a floating floor, we left spaces on the sides here, as you can see, about um, half an inch, quarter inch um, between that point. We're going to put a molding on that to cover that up. Um, but all in all, the floor is looking pretty good so far. We'll do a couple of videos to show you how to snap the pieces together. Um, and we'll go from there. Alright, so now we're going to start a fresh row. I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing we want to do is we don't want the two edges here to butt up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. Now it's important to see which is your tongue and which is your female end here, which is here. So because I'm going left, uh, right to left, I'm going to want the tongue sticking out right here. Uh, so I'm going to cut this board in half. So to start off, and you want to stagger them. Usually I'll do a cut, cut in half board, then I'll do a full board, cut in half board, so on. So I got my cut in half board. And so now we here's my starting piece. So next we're gonna get a full board. And then on the full board you want to check off top here, make sure you have nothing damaged. Some of them are damaged. So we're gonna put this right like this. And what we're gonna do is I have this little edge piece so we make sure there's some space. Stick that down like that. If you go like this, what happens is it gets jammed. Um, so you want to kind of sit it just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is join these two pieces together. So we're going to get them lined up beforehand as much as I can. Once these two are lined up, I'm going to take this board. And this is just a piece I've cut scrap piece, end piece, make sure this is a nice edge. Got some arrows. I'll take this and I just bang this. So I see the space go away. And see the space is gone. So now I'll just do that with my next piece too. So on and so forth. And just keep this scrap piece. Okay, now I have my two pieces connected. And what I've taken is my scrap wood here. And I've locked this in just to keep the joints nice and tight. Again, this is just scrap wood. And so when I click this all in, it's just going to be an easier connection. Now, this is a piece that I cut in half. So we have the female end, which is normally going to go into here. I'm going to put that on the opposite side. Give myself a little bit of a space. And then I'm going to mark here. And I'm going to just cut that off with my saw. So I have very little scrap when everything's said and done. And now it should be fitting right in here. Now that we have this, you can see you can't get in and bang that. So what I use is this piece right here. Okay. Protect the wood with this. And then just bang this like that. Boom. And now a nice tight seal. Alright, so we're gonna get all the pieces now. We're gonna lift up. Get Did you get yours in? Nope. You're gonna have to get yours in first because I'm so far away. So you're going to let it down slowly. Okay. It's getting good. Yeah. All right. I want to take this piece. Put this 
straighten out. You have to come up a little bit. Okay. Take this piece out. Bang it in. Watching that crack disappear. This looks like a, you got a crack in right? Yeah, it's coming back. Take this piece out right here. There it is. Yep. So you just put a little weight on there and help it. Keep it down. Again, this is a strap piece that we're using to bang in. Yeah. And we, we stay away from the corners. And it's very important to keep it level as we bang in. That way it doesn't create any kind of delamination um, on the, the board itself. And as you go down, you can see that this crack just disappears. And when you check your edges too, make sure they all look good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to put a new row down. And as you can see, the piece before has a split right here. So I'm going with a full piece next. And I've chopped off uh, my end piece here. That's in case I need to use this tool here to bang in a split. It's not going to mess up my edge. So I put a spacer in. Right here. Make sure we get the spacer. So next we're going to connect these two pieces, two full boards, and you always want to check your boards, make sure there's no delaminating or anything like that. So get them nice and connected here. Next, do take a piece like this. Okay, now what I have is a scrap board here. It's going to go on its side, and um, I just put my arrows so I know which way it goes. So I get this locked in here. I'm going to just take this piece. It's easier to bang. I'm going to take this, and bang this, and then your split here should disappear after a couple of bangs. There we go. Now you can see it's now come together. Now what I do here is take another scrap piece and I've marked my arrows where how this locks in. I call this top and I lock this piece right in here. And actually that's not going to work. I'm going to lock this piece. And then what that allows us to do is as we go down and bang together, it doesn't move the boards or kind of locks them in together tight. And I've found that if I don't do that, all the pieces get all messed up. So I'm going to do my next piece here. Check the piece for any things. As you can see, I have a couple um, extra a little weight here in the front so it doesn't bend up because um, as you're banging them in until they've been fully locked in they can pop back out again so if you put this weight down right after you lock it in it helps it seat down better so I'm going to lock this pad in There we go. Again, put this piece right in. It's going to keep it together. And now we're going to cut my last piece here. So we need a female piece, so I might have an extra piece of scrap. Get that last piece there. Which is my scrap wood here from another cut. So this is the female piece here. Line that up. Top of the tongue. Mark it. Get 
good. I'm gonna cut this off. down now because we've cut this side off we can't um, stick this tongue end in but what we can do put this up here like this to check this make sure it's nice which it is and it's a little bit actually off Now we can lift this up. We can lock it all together. <laughs> so angle it up and then get as close as you can get. I'm gonna take my scrap piece. I'm gonna start from this side. Um, just stir from one side and work your way down works best. And just try to get this in and bang straight on. And sometimes it might come loose again, so you gotta keep checking. There it is. And once you get it banged in nice, take your weight here. Put it over and it should stop it from coming back out again. There we go. You can actually feel it drop down. And you don't actually want to bang on these seams because it actually causes a problem. So try to avoid banging on the seams. Now, depending on the floor, sometimes you get places that are a little bit more of a crack. You have to play around with those sometimes. Okay, nice. Alright, and that's uh, I put it in one row of laminate floor. Alright, so here I have a piece uh, that I need to get under this molding. And rather than take the whole molding apart, um, is that I have this long piece here that we connect in. Now if I connected it in, I won't be able to angle this down because it would just be too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this molding piece in, click it down. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece like this with a nice edge, get that clicked in here. And this is just a scrap piece I'm using. And I'm going to bang this over underneath my molding. Now it's underneath the molding. Get a little bit closer, actually. There we go. Um, so you want to decide what's how far away if you want to leave any space. It's about right there. And now what I can do is I can still fit this nice long piece in. Um, and actually I'm going to need to angle this. So you want to leave enough space here. I'm going to take a little crowbar after, click it back in, and then I'll, this way I don't have to take. So you can do that around any pieces like this, you need tight pieces around the doors that you need to, to kind of get in really tight. Use that little trick, get that one piece in, snap that big piece in, 
put it together. Now I have this still a little bit of a space here. I'm going to get this wedge here. I lock my pieces together so they overlap and we're going to just squeeze that in. Boom, there we go. So now I was able to get under here um, under this molding piece, get this locked in tight without having to take that molding piece off and that will be helpful too under my edges of my kitchen as I get closer to the end. Okay, so we're getting to a door threshold here and we have the moldings that are already installed so normally you want to wait on the moldings but in this case we uh, kind of forgot about that. So rather than rip them all up since we've already uh, silicone them in here is I'm just zipping this portion out and we're going to put that back in, put a little piece of silicone in, paint it and you won't even be able to tell. But um, so I've marked on the bottom here what we want to cut out. Um, on this corner piece here what I've done is snapped it in and I've put it to the side here. Just taking this, boom, knocked it to the side so I didn't have to take this molding out. On this side here what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip this out. I'm going to cut my board. Be snapping it down, sliding it over, and then connecting the two pieces together here. So I'll show you how to do that. Piece out. Now what we can do is we can get this board as close as we can to the wall. Make sure that this still has room to snap in over here. It does. Wedge it down. And now what we do is we knock this down. Once we get this down enough, we're going to bang it to the left here. Actually, do that right now. And when you bang to the left, because this thing can damage, and I have damaged before a piece, you want to put a scrap board down here. So when, even though we're banging sideways, what we're going to do is just protect this from getting damaged. And what I can do here, make sure these two pieces lined up, this in here, this will guide these two pieces in together. So, okay, check it. Not really moved too much. So, make sure this is lined up. It's coming together a little bit better. And what I can do is got some on this side. Go from the opposite end. Now that I know these are connecting, I'll take this out. Sometimes it makes it more difficult. Okay. Move it in closer. Yeah, it's pretty close. Might do a little bit more from the other side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 